All right, so you're trying to either start an online business, trying to make sense of all these things that you're watching online, and or you currently have an online business and you aren't where you want to be, then this video is for you. My name is Mario Gonzalez. I run a half a million dollar a year run rate online business called Create Co, in which we help people rapidly scale an audience and monetize it to half a million dollars a year just like I did so myself. And um, over the past year, I've actually done a lot, right? So this year is has been my first full year in online business, meaning that I've only done this full time for all this year. And um, I wanted to go ahead and share my takeaways because a lot of people have this um, mentality or maybe not even mentality, they have this dream of what it would be like to quit a nine to five job and pursue this full time. Um, throw back to my situation, my uh, role 12 months ago, I was actually a, had a six figure job in a corporate role. I was managing other people and I decided to leave all that to pursue this 110%. I've made a lot of mistakes. I've invested a ton of money um, more than $30,000 into education, coaching, mentorships. There's a lot of stuff that I learned. And more importantly, there's a lot of stuff that I actually purchased to understand from the individuals that I bought for that just didn't help me out at all. So in this video, I actually wrote down a couple of notes here on my phone, which is what I'm going to be referring back to. But I recommend that you guys grab a coffee, grab something because it's going to be quite a long video. But if you guys stick to the end, I guarantee you guys are going to get a few key takeaways. Um, this video is going to be my last video of 2024. I wanted to make sure that I had I've been giving a lot of value on my channel and I wanted to make sure to wrap all this up. This is an idea that I've had from long ago to wrap all this up into one video uh, because it helps me as much as it helps you guys. So the first thing that I want to talk about is about broadening your time horizon. So you have to keep in mind that most people, especially if you're starting online, they have false senses of success, right? So I'll give you guys an example. I left my job in October of last year. And um, when I left my job, I had the expectation that I was going to be making more than <laughs> $50,000 a month, $20,000 a month. Keep in mind at that moment in time, right? Right now we're going to be talking about time horizon. And what I want to discuss is your journey you think is going to go from here to here in six months when actually the people who succeed understand that it's going to take six years and they're okay with that. What I mean by that. So when I had my six figure job, right, I was making a cool hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, I had this job and at the same time I had an agency that was netting around two thousand dollars per month. Right. So two thousand dollars. What did I decide to do? I decided to leave this job completely because everybody online was telling me, hey, no problem. I make twenty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars every single month, right? So what did I do? I was like, okay, I'm gonna invest thirty thousand dollars into these programs, coaching, mentorships, and I decided to leave this, right? And I was like, okay, cool. Why? Because within thirty to sixty days, just like they say that I would, I'm gonna be probably making like twenty thousand dollars at least per month. So why does all of this matter? Right. Um, when in reality, what actually happened is as soon as I left my nine to five, my dreams, my reality, everything, it crumbled. And I was only making I actually went down to the point where I was making zero dollars a month and then one thousand dollars like a month after. Those were the most excruciatingly hard three to four months of my entire life because I my whole world was shattered because I didn't understand time horizons. I didn't understand that no matter what I was going to make it. I knew that, but I wasn't willing to accept the fact that it was going to take longer than I wanted it to take. So how does this relate to everyone? I speak to my clients all the time and 
whenever I have them on the first call or they, somebody speaks to me for the first time, I always share time horizons because right now I'm at the point where I'm generating a little bit north of, of $50,000 per month. And, um, at this point I thought I would have been at maybe a million dollars per month, right? I wrote it down all the time in my notebook, $1 million a month, uh, by the end of this year of 2023. And obviously didn't play out that way, but the whole point is I'm now capable and understanding of time horizons. And I understand that I will achieve what I want to achieve as long as I put in the daily reps every single day and um, put in the correct actions every single day. But it might take longer than I expected. And that's okay, right? That is the nature of time horizons. As long as you're doing the actions right? As long as you're performing the actions, as long as you say, Hey, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars per month. You have to reverse, reverse engineer what actions you need to take for your business in order of importance, the main five or 10, right? And you need to, you need to make sure that you do those every single day. And then eventually you're going to hit the hundred thousand dollars per month. But it's not going to happen in 30 to 60 days. And a lot of the false pretense, especially online, because there's so many people that claim to or have done $100,000 added to their business within 30 to 60 days, which is extremely ridiculous. And to be honest with you, it's borderline. Either it's unsustainable, something iffy is going on, or it's just fake, right? So as long as you're focusing on making sure that your time horizon is always accurate, you're never going to fail. You have to keep in mind that most people online, they, they tend to quit. I know a lot of people that spent a lot of the money with me were in the same courses as me. And now they, they're nowhere to be found. They fell off the face of the earth right? They're no longer online. They're no longer sending their service. They no longer had that agency, that online business that they were so passionate about at the time because they never brought in their time horizon. I understood, um, not from the very beginning, right? Um, but I understood eventually that I'm going to get everything I've ever wanted in life as long as I'm willing to put in the work. It's just broadening your own time horizon. Don't compare to yourself to people online because I myself, I'm almost, I think Iman Godzi is a year older than me, almost exactly a year older than me. And um, if I'm comparing myself to him when he was 20, 20, 22, right? I'm 2020, 20, I'm 22, by the way. If I'm comparing myself to him, I've already lost the whole entire game because he was making hundreds and thousands of dollars per month easily a year ago. And I'm at the point where I can barely generate half of that every single month, you know? So, but I understand that he's been in the game. He had a longer time horizon. He had a 10 year window of time. He's been at it since he was um, 16 years old, 15 years old. So he's had a longer time horizon. I've simply only had a year. I've only had a little bit of the time horizon, in fact, right? So that's the first point when it comes to time horizon, broadening your time horizons, because at the end of the day, th as long as you focus on the actions, you're going to win automatically, right? Everything will come to you. Everything that you want, you, everything that you desire, it's going to come to you in due time. But as long as you're waiting to do the time, that's when everything falls into place, right? Another lesson, a huge lesson that I learned this year is do what they say, not what they teach. So what do I mean by this? So whenever I invested my first, I think this course or mentorship program was $20,000 because keep in mind, I had a pretty high income already. Um, I decided to invest $20,000 into this coaching program or mentorship program, whatever you want to call it online 
from somebody that was making a hundred thousand dollars per month already i thought it was a no-brainer offer let me go ahead and purchase into it and um what ended up happening is those four months that i described to y'all was the four months that i was actually under that program's wing that program that i invested twenty thousand dollars into it was letting me down it wasn't what i expected at all and what i decided to do when everything changed for me when i actually started making a substantial income online was when i learned do what they say not what they teach right so i'm sorry i think that's actually wrong so do what they do right not what they teach because everybody online is going to teach a different method of selling things right um whoever you want to name online they have something to sell you right they have their own teachings to sell you because that's how they monetize so that person that i bought twenty thousand dollars from they have their own branding to him right they had their own solution and me naturally i was drawn to it but just how everybody sells you either drop shipping or they sell you uh, smma the the thing is you're never going to get to their levels of riches if you keep doing what they're teaching you have to be replicating their actions you have to be replicating what they're doing every single day or what they're doing at the moment to actually get the level of success and attain the level of success that they have it's a very 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 weird topic especially online because you see a big guy he's driving a lambo right he's smoking a cigar whatever you want to think right and um he's telling you go buy this course that's 50 dollars a month i'm guessing you guys know who i'm talking about but is that what he's doing no he's being brash on social media he's gathering a lot of attention to himself and then he's productizing all of that into a particular service that he has monthly and what i just described to you is what most people online do right so what is it when i'm talking about when i'm talking about even though i've made tons of videos about this that i recommend for you guys to go watch what do i mean by do right what do these people do right what are these elites that are making high levels of income do so the best way i can break it down to you guys when i had that 20k mentor right me mario <laughs> so this is me i was literally broke making zero dollars per month and I paid out of my own pocket, right? Out of my own pocket, I paid $20,000 to learn from another individual who was making $100,000, right? What did I decide to do? I started telling, hey, he was telling me do this, do this, do this, do this, and I was just following it blindly. So eventually, I stayed at $0 per month. And I was starstruck and I was pissed off. How is this even possible? I told myself. So what I started doing, I started recognizing. I was like, hey, the lesson in here might not be in what exactly he's teaching, but what is he doing? What made me pay that individual $20,000 up front to learn more about him and to basically become him? It was the fact that he had marketed his product through content. He built an audience. He built an audience of people. And all he had to do was package it up nice and neat. This is a bow, by the way. This is a present. And sell people on that service. And now was one of the people that bought it up. Because I believed in him. Because I believed in the content. I believed in the solution. But just how this was a this was a 20K package, right? It could easily be a $50 course. A drop shipping course you guys might have seen. Uh, it could also be an SMMA course. An educate course. You name it. It gets replaced. But the thing is, everybody's telling you and selling you on something online. And that's one of the reasons I created uh, CreateCo, my company, which is focusing on making sure that people understand how to do this side of the equation 
and not just get sold on this, right? Uh, because I understood that this was the reason people were making money. People made a lot of money off me, north of $30,000, just because they were able to do this. And once I started implementing this for myself, making content, focusing on building an audience, like clockwork, I made my first $10,000 online. It was an absolutely amazing feeling. Keep in mind that I had already been making $10,000 a month, give or take in my corporate job, but being able to do that on my own self was game changing all because I understood that I have to now replicate or get inspiration from what people are doing instead of what people are teaching. So keep that in mind guys, because right now you guys probably have a bunch of people online that you're watching that, um, that you're thinking about buying a course from, or you're thinking about purchasing from, or you really like always keep in mind. If you want to get to their same level, you, they inspire you to become just like them. Don't take into account what they're teaching, whatever course they're promoting, etc. Just copy exactly what they do. All right. So again, every business model is the same. I explained it briefly already, but I want to dive into it a little bit more. So when I talk about making content, I really mean making a lot of content. If you guys look at my YouTube page, there's tons of videos that go over. These are going to be videos, by the way. Uh, there's tons of videos that go over exactly what I do, right? And just like your favorite guru online, they have a tons of videos as well, right? There's Mario, even though I'm at a much smaller scale, there's Mario, there's Iman, right? There's Sebastian, Jordan, Jordan Welsh, you name it. All of them are doing the same thing. Mario over here is selling link down below link down below by the way is selling a course and a mentorship program right so course and a mentorship program iman is selling a software product and educate sebastian is selling i don't know what the hell he's selling i think he's selling a course or like affiliates but you could replace this with mr beast and he's selling chocolate bars selling merch the same thing still stands you guys have to keep in mind that there is no other time in human existence where you're able to get as much eyeballs for free fast to a product or service than before i like to think about it as an analogy so if you guys have ever watched the movie wolf of wall street in order to get a ton of attention, they had to dial the phones every single day. What we're doing with content now, what Iman is doing with content now is I'm making sure that I put out a video and hundreds of people watch it every single day. Your job online specifically is to become a marketer for yourself, for your product, for your brand in order to sell it to your audience. That is the most underlying way of doing online business that to be honest with you, not everybody except me, of course, I'm kidding. Uh, there's a lot of people obviously now, but that actually preach this right here, which is it doesn't matter what you're selling as long as you productize it and create it the right way. This is the business model that is pretty much hidden in plain sight at this point. So again, I explained it briefly, but I would highly recommend you guys watching some of my longer form content. I'll link one down below if you guys want to check it out on how to actually follow that protocol for your own business. And going on to that point is you have to keep in mind that any business, one of the biggest lessons I learned this year, number three, is attention is fuel. I don't know how you spell fuel, but attention is fuel. What do I mean by that? It means that any business 
can live the crappiest business online, the most, <laughs> the worst offer that you can possibly think of. It can live because it has enough attention. The more attention you get to an online business or any business in general, especially online, the better, the more money you make. Simple as that. Any business that has never made it before, or if you're currently running a business and you haven't hit your first $10,000 a month yet, is because you haven't had $10,000 a month worth of attention coming to your offer. Trust me. A lot of people tell, I tell this to a lot of my clients, your offer right now is, for example, let's say at $2,000 per month and a hundred people see it every single week. A hundred people come across your page. A hundred people come across your Instagram, your YouTube book, a call, whatever. So now let's 10 X that let's say 10,000 people were, were watching your content. We're looking at your offer every single day by default. People are going to buy your product. You're going to run across more people that are willing to buy your product and or, sh or service, especially online. Attention is fuel. It's the reason why Andrew Tate can sell and be worth almost a billion dollars within such a short period of time because, I mean, he says it himself. He was or is, I don't know at this point, the most Googled man on the planet. What that does is that obviously increases your net worth because online, the amount of attention that you're getting, the amount that you're able, the amount of attention you're getting is what you're able to capitalize off. This is the reason why people will seemingly blow up out of nowhere and then build a million dollar business off, off that attention because attention is fuel. And once I understood this, I understood that I had to wake up every single day and draw attention to my business whether it was making a YouTube video like this or whether it was whatever, making a post on Instagram, I was drawing attention to my offer and that is literally all that matters. So if your business is struggling right now, you have to make sure that you capture as much attention, wake up every single day for two hours a day and focus on getting attention to your product or service during the time where um, I was working more than I am now, right? I, I would wake up every single day for two hours. My first two hours a day were focused on how to get more people to watch my stuff. How do I get more attention? Do I need to send people DMs? Do I need to make more YouTube videos? Do I need to make you reels, shorts, whatever you name it? I was focusing on getting more attention. And this allowed me, this allowed my business to thrive more than I had, to be honest, ever expected before. Right. So attention is fuel, right? That one lesson can take you a lot of places. One of the very last lessons that I have for y'all that I learned this year is lean teams conquer. So um, when I was working in corporate, I used to have hundreds of employees working under me that I was able to manage etc. And once I started online, I think um, specifically like on money, Twitter or whatever space that you're on, if you're watching my videos, you probably have a, a plethora of channels that you kind of watch that are in the similar. And to be honest, most of them preach having a five salesperson team and then five setters and then five editors, and they want to have as much people working with them as possible. And this, what I learned is that it only causes lag. It only causes you to slow down online. Online business is fast, right? Corporate or whatever or job I was working before it, 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 you could afford being slow. You could afford taking months to roll out a new product. You could afford that, but online specifically, if there's, there's people that are racing you every single day, there's competition every single day, that day that you don't post, somebody else will post and they're going to get that attention from the viewer that very day. So lean teams in particular are very, very efficient. So if I were to be just starting out again, I would pick one or two individuals that I desperately need. What do you desperately need online? You need a video editor, right? And you need some sort of 
virtual assistant that can help you handle clients that can do more than one thing, right? That's the only two things you need. Everything else is fluff. Everything else you have to learn on your own, specifically if you're online, specifically if you're just starting out, because the harsh truth is you don't know what you want online. So I see a lot of people make this mistake that they start a brand new business and they start hiring left and right. They start hiring a bunch of people and then a month in, they end up realizing that it's not something that they want to do. It's not something that blew up as much as they thought it was. And then all these people, they go out the door, right? Or they get fired or they get burned, right? Having two people that you desperately need to run your business from the very beginning is key, is specifically online. Again, because online business is fast. The faster you can move with the market, the faster you're going to be able to capitalize off every single trend that's coming through, right? And again, throughout this time, I thought I wanted to have the glamour of working of working with a ton of people, having a ton of time, having a, a bunch of meetings every single day, but I ended up giving myself another job. So lean teams win, utilize AI, and you're golden. So these are some of the biggest takeaways that I had in 2023, wrapping up the year. Again, it's been an amazing year. Thank you guys for watching um, my content. It really, 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 really truly means everything to me because it is my business. Content is my business. Uh, this is how I get my clients. This is how you should be getting your clients if you're not doing so. If not, use the link in the description. You're going to learn a lot more. But again, thank you guys so much. And um, apply this to your own business. It literally only is for your benefit. But wanting to make this video on time. Have a happy New Year's. We'll catch you.